Hi, my name is Katherine Chen. I'm a crop scientist with Colorado State University. I work with the USDA to conserve the types of crops that can't otherwise be stored as seeds. These may be seedless crops, such as seedless grapes or bananas, or they might be specific cultivars that need to be vegetatively propagated in order to taste and look the same every time. Take, for instance, the Honeycrisp apple. Now, a Honeycrisp tree might be pollinated by a neighboring tree, say a Red Delicious. Now, what you're going to get from that is a fruit that is still a Honeycrisp, but inside of that Honeycrisp apple, you will have a seed that will produce a hybrid. If you wanted to preserve just the Honeycrisp genetics, you would need to instead preserve tissues directly from the parent tree. Now, by growing tissues from that parent tree, you're gonna get the exact same genetics, and this is why we call it a clone. Clones may be preserved in a variety of ways. We can maintain them as actively growing plants in the field or in the greenhouse, as well as plants grown in the lab. These are called tissue cultures. Another way to conserve these is by taking the actively growing part of the plant, called a shoot tip, and preserving them in liquid nitrogen. This will preserve them for generations to come. By maintaining clones at a variety of sites in a variety of different forms, we now have the ability to regenerate this material in case of loss due to diseases, pests, and in case of habitat reduction. In addition, we also have this material available to send to researchers and breeders who may be better able to analyze and understand the important traits held within this genetic material and can even utilize these traits in order to breed new crops as well as improve existing crops, which overall enhances the quality of our agricultural industries.